Wow. Manitoba. My dear, sweet Manitoba, look at what we have done here tonight. You know, a lot of people in the big cities, they look down on us here in Manitoba. Flyover country, they said. Winter pig, man, it's cold out, they said. But look what little old Manitoba did tonight. Manitoba, Manitoba did something more progressive than any of those big cities ever did. We elected a strong team of new Democrats to fix health care and make your life more affordable. <laughs> to the people in health care, to the people working in the bedside today, to the people thinking of pursuing a career, to health care workers across the country, in other provinces around the world, I have a simple message to you. We need you. We are doing exciting things with health care here in Manitoba. We're going to build new emergency rooms. We're going to build a new cancer care headquarters. More clinician researchers to bring the best quality care to you, the people of Manitoba. And so, for all the people out there who work in healthcare, we need you. The nurses, the doctors, the healthcare professionals, the healthcare aides, we need you to work with us to build something special here in the healthcare system in Manitoba. I want to speak to the young Nietzsche's out there. I want to speak to young people from all backgrounds. Really, I want to speak to people of all ages, but I want to speak to young Nietzsche's in particular. I was given a second chance in life. And I would like to think that I've made good on that opportunity. And you can do the same. Here's how. My life became immeasurably better when I stopped making excuses and I started looking for a reason. And I found that reason in our family. I found that reason in our community. And I found that reason in our province and country. And so to young people out there who want to change your life for the better, you can do it. But here's the thing. You have to want it. You have to want it. If you want to leave the party lifestyle behind, it has to be you to make the decision. If you want to join the workforce, get a new career, it has to be you to take the first step. And if you're dealing with some kind of illness and you want to find healing, it has to be you to decide to move forward. I can't do that for you. A government can't do that for you. You have to be the person to decide to take the first step. But here is what our government can do. Looking at the team right now, government. Sounds pretty good, huh? But here's what our government can do. If you decide to take the first step and leave the addictions behind, our government will make sure that there is a path to recovery for you. If you decide to go to work, our government will make sure that there is a training program with a good job at the end of it waiting for you. Yeah. 
And if you decide to get out of bed one more day to fight the cancer, then our government is going to make sure that you have the best quality cancer care of anywhere in the world right here in Manitoba. I want more Manitobans to hear those four magic words. You are cancer free. And so to young people who are looking for a positive path, I want to share the words that my father always told us. Ando buachigek. Seek your vision. Seek your vision. Dreams come true. To people, in, to people in rural Manitoba, to people in northern Manitoba, I want to say thank you for sending people from your communities to sit with our team at the Manitoba Legislature. And to people in rural Manitoba who haven't voted for us yet, I would ask you to keep an open mind. And if our team delivers, if after a few years we have improved your health care and we've made your life a bit more affordable, I would humbly ask that in four years' time you send more people from your communities to sit with our team in the Manitoba Legislature. <laughs> to the business community, I look forward to sitting down with you, and you know that one of my fundamental political beliefs is that the economic horse pulls the social cart. But tonight, the Manitoba NDP is going to rock the house. <laughs> I want to thank the outgoing Premier, Heather Stephenson. I want to thank you for your service to our province. I want to thank you for your service to our province and country. You were the first woman Premier of Manitoba, and I look forward to working with you on an orderly transition as we stand up Manitoba's next government. A Manitoba NDP government. And to the people of Manitoba, on behalf of our team, I want to express our tremendous gratitude for this awesome responsibility that you have bestowed upon us. I want to say thank you, because at the start of this campaign, our team made a decision. We chose to believe in you. We chose to believe, we chose to believe that given the choice, you, the people of Manitoba, would embrace a positive campaign focused on the future, focused on fixing health care and making the economy more affordable, and that you would reject the divisive message sent by our opponents. And I want to thank you for investing your trust in us. But really, I want to thank you for showing the rest of Canada and the world what we have known all along. The people of Manitoba are good people.
And so there will be challenging times ahead, I'm sure. I'm sure that not every day is going to be easy, but I can promise you that every single day, this Manitoba NDP team is going to get up and work our hardest to serve you, the people of Manitoba. And I know that the road ahead will not be easy. But there is one thing that the results of tonight's vote show crystal clear. And it is we can do amazing things when we stand together as one province. We can accomplish awesome tasks when we stand together as one people. And there is no challenge that we cannot meet when we unite as one Manitoba. Miigwech!